M0FXP. So this video is showing you the FTM300 with RT systems and the free ADMS12. M0FXP, welcome to my channel, FTM300. So to prepare your SD card, firstly put it in your PC and format it. Then put it in the radio and it should detect an SD card. Once it does that, the SD card here, then you want to hold down the F and turn to highlight SD card. You can turn it with the knob like so, and push it. Then the first thing you wanna do is format it. So when you push format, you'll go left and you'll click okay. And when this completes, it will say completed. Okay, I've already done it. I'm not gonna do it again, so go back. Then you want, what I always do is just go to backup and then click right to SD card and click all, okay? And it will complete again. Let's say completed on the screen, then back up. Now then carefully take out the SD card from your radio and remember it faces this way with the FTM300 with the front, the gold bits at the back. Okay, and now put this into an adapter in your PC. So we've got our SD card ready. Now we're going to RT Systems. We've downloaded that, it's $25 and then you pay extra for the cable. So we've just downloaded it, run the XC. Let's double click the actual program. It's created a shortcut for us down here. And then we'll let that populate. It's so easy, RT Systems. Now watch this, so we've got the program. First thing we'll do is communication, and we'll read SD card. Like so, click OK, and look, straight away, you've got it. Every time you read, um, it opens a new window. Now one of the funkiest things I like about it is repeatable, but firstly, I'll just quickly show you how to change a frequency. Just double click anyone, type in the frequency, like so, it puts in the shift. You can choose whether it's FM or digital. You can name it, just name that digital. Like so, put in your tones if needed. Tone frequency. And that is literally that easy. Now, some of the settings menus are pretty good. Look, radio, me radio settings menu, look at that, you've got your common common two, DTMF, APRS, APRS beacon, and GM settings. And I will say that the ADMS free software does do this quite well. And you can export files. We could export the file that's here now. now I'll just show you the external data one. So watch this. Go file, external data, then go to repeat a book search, and it comes up with this window. That's my location. And let's uh, just select two meters and 70 centimeters here. We could do more, 20 mile radius, and then click OK. And what it's gonna do now is find all those repeaters in that area, and it's put them in a new tab. Now we can select down here at the bottom, create file for FTM 300. Now we can select certain bands if we want. Look, do you see it all there? But anyway, let's just click create file. Once it's created a file, we can copy and paste. So click, just click above one and then just drag it down like that and then right click and go copy. Or you could, could, could do control C, okay? Copy, then go back to your original file. Click at the top of the bottom empty one, go paste. And there you are, you've got all your repeaters. And then you just go communication, write to SD card. It's, and it's done. That is what I love about RT systems. It's so easy. And for $25, because uh, most of us have got the SCU 2019 cable lying around. One, we bought it at one point. And it's the same set. This is the same for the FTM 400, 100, or, you know, all these Ye Yaesu radios. To me, RT systems works best with Yaesu radios, if you ask me. But a quick look at the settings. You can obviously use a cable if you want. Radio menu we've looked at. Export. We've seen export and import. External data isn't just repeat a book, it's R finder, frequency list. But the frequency list is, is look, you can choose, you know, I'm not in America, but you can choose G, GMRS and click apply, or the weather channel there, click apply. And close, oh, did it do it? Apply. Yeah, it's, sorry, I saw it now. It's added them at the beginning there. And you can either use them or not. It's up to you if you want to copy them, delete them. You can move things around. You can go file, insert. So you can jump in the middle of channels. Where is it? 
insert channel, obviously delete channel, add channels. You can even make comments here. Look. So that's it. And then, like I said, you just go send data to radio. So I don't really use GMRS, so I don't think I'll save this file. But it's excellent. And then just get the SD card and then watch the last part of the video and you know what to do. And then I will show you in this video as well how to use the ADMS 12 free software. Uh, and then, then you decide which one you like. Bye for now, 7.3, all the best. What you do now is hold down the F menu, you've got the SD card back in, select SD card, go back up, but this time select read from SD card, click all, turn to the left, and then just push, and it's now reading. It's a bit bright, and that's it. Thanks for watching, bye for now. So a quick look at the ADMS 12 free software. So plug it in your PC and then you're going to need to download the software which is on the Yesu site here. Go to files at the bottom there and it's called ADMS12. There you go. And then you get a zip like this and we're going to run the zip. Now I also use RT systems but today it's ADMS12. Double click and let's run the XE, the nice simple XE on the uh, FTM300. We'll fire up the software. Double click it. There's our window there. And then it's really simple now. Just go communication, get data from SD card, select all. Then go down to your USB drive, which you've plugged in the PC. Double click FTM 300. Double click backup log. There's the file that you saved. Double click it, and there you are. Job done. And now you can just make changes. Now, there's, there's quite an extensive selection here, but look. PMS, VFOA, VFOB, Home A, Home B, and you've got the whole settings menu as well. Settings. And look at that. And this is free. And you've got common, and this is, you know, go through. There's lots of different settings to look at. Even DTMF memories, scan, display settings, you know, same as the menus that are in the radio. Group mode wires X, all your APRS settings. It's all here, look, like the modem's off at the moment. There's my call sign. Previous message, you can type a message here. You, know, you can just go like M0FXB, Andreas, how are you? You know, it's a lot easier typing. Make any changes you want, APRS beacon settings. Close that down. I mean, the main one we're going to use is our memories, isn't it? These are all our memories. If you want to add a memory, double click a channel. Type in the frequency. So 433.300. It will remember the shift in some cases. You can select the offset. FM. AMS. I'm, I'm pretty sure I noticed that if you, you select FM, but when you put it on the radio, it's a digital channel. The, the radio, just put it in AMS mode, automatic select mode, and it will do that for you. And that's it. And then when you finish, you just, you just go get data, sorry, communications, send data to SD card, and you click save. Yeah, we're going to save it in the right, same place. SD card write completion. So it's put that those changes in. Let's have a look at some other things there that you would do just quickly before we end the video. So file, you can export files. Let's export something. Export. We'll call it a different name because we don't want to lose what we've got. We'll send it to the same, to, let's send it somewhere different. Desktop. FTM 300. We'll just go save. So you can export, you can import things. I haven't tried repeater book. I think that's for a completely separate video, but you've heard of repeater book where you can import a file with all the repeaters on it. Edit, you can insert channel. So you sort of jump in the middle of a channel. Delete channel, clear channels, move them up and down. See that? I think you can copy and paste a lot of this stuff as well. Look, you can copy and paste. You should probably do that from repeater book. Settings, Windows, Tile Up Down, and the version. That's the version that we've got. 
And that's it. Then we'll put it back in the radio. I'll just I'll show you that at the end where you just put the SD card in the radio and then just write SD card. Actually, I don't need to show you it because you've, we did it at the very beginning. At the beginning, you saw us write to SD card. And that's it. So thanks for watching my channel. 7-3, all the best.